Making up a small batch of B-Quip strips soaked in oxalic acid and glycerine is very easy when you have our hobbyist kit. I'm going to take you through the steps involved in making up these strips. So for a starter you need the hobbyist kit, which is available on our website, and then you need a pair of scales, um, some safety equipment, which includes safety goggles, dust mask and then also some disposable gloves. It's very important to wear something like an apron or overalls and also um, long sleeves just to keep all your skin covered when you're handling the acid. You also need a bowl and an element um, and then some water inside the bowl. This is used for heating up the solution uh, in a controlled manner. So let's go through the hobbyist kit and see what's included for making out these strips. So first of all, there's an instruction guide with a step-by-step -step, uh, instructions on how to make it up using this kit. There's also a pail and a thermometer. Of course, there's some beak whip strips acid, and glycerine. And they're also included as a wooden trivet. This is for putting in the pot with the bucket on top. And then you've got a wooden stirrer for stirring the solution in the bucket. We also include a plastic soaking container um, and then also some plastic bags keeping the strips contained once they're soaked. So for the first step we want to turn the element on so that the water in the pot is starting to heat up. Initially you'll turn it on to the highest setting so that we can gain uh, a high temperature for a start and while that's heating up we will put on our safety equipment so Firstly, some gloves, then the safety goggles, and then with the dust mask, we can have that um, on hand for when we're using the exalic acid. So with this next step, what we want to do is get the bucket and tear that on the scales. With this recipe we're doing 1.2 kilograms of glycerine and 800 grams of oxalic acid. That's the 40-60 ratio. Right, so we can see that that bucket is now teared. So we want to open up our glycerine and then pour in exactly 1.2 kilograms of glycerine. Okay, so once we've done that glycerine, we want to tear it again. Tear the scales and then we need to add the acid. Now it's important this part, you put the dust mask on as the acid crystals can get airborne. Once masked up, you then add 800 grams of oxalic acid. Put the lid back on and then grab the wooden stirrer to start mixing this up. Once you've done a few stirs, now's the time to add it to your pot. You can see now that this is nice and warm and the idea is with this wooden trivet on the bottom and the bucket in there, the heat is going to dissipate into the solution and eventually the acid will dissolve into the glycerine. Once the, you've stirred it up so that the acid is all stirred into the glycerine, then you can remove your mask as there's no more acid crystals that can become airborne. From here there shouldn't be any fumes providing that you keep within the temperatures explained in our guide. These temperatures are critical 
for the actual solution. We supply a thermometer to put in the solution. And this is to monitor what temperature it gets to. You do not want this solution going above 60 degrees. Make sure there's no lumps of acid in the solution. The solution will become clear when it's ready to use. So while this is heating up, we can move the scales aside and get ready for soaking our strips. The strips are put in packs of 40 with three rubber bands around them. We can then get our plastic container and put the pack of strips in there ready for pouring the solution into. The rubber bands hold the strips together, keep it all tidy and also lift them off the bottom of the container slightly to allow the solution to soak into the strips. So it's now been 10 minutes after we put this on. Give it a quick stir and just take the temperature, make sure that we're all within the right levels. We can see the thermometer is at 40 degrees. This is what the solution is looking like. So we're getting pretty close, reasonably clear. Um, so we just want to keep an eye on it. Keep stirring it and watching that temperature. I'd recommend coming back in another five minutes time and uh, giving another stir, checking the temperature and seeing where it's at. It is getting a lot clearer now, so it may not be long. You can see here now the temperature has got to 50 degrees. This is five minutes later. And so we can tell that the temperature is really getting up there. And it's uh, pretty close to being ready. I'd say another five to 10 minutes and we'll be ready. Just keep an eye on that temperature. Okay, so here we are five minutes later. Temperature's at 55. And we can see there that the solution is pretty much clear. Just give it another quick stir, make sure there's no acid crystals left. We can turn this heat down now because we don't want to overcook it. You just don't want to get the solution above 60 degrees at all. If the solution goes clear before it gets to 60 degrees, then we're ready to use it. Okay, so stirring this for another minute, we can see that everything's fully dissolved and we can pull it out of the pot of water and sit it on the bench. It's always good throughout this whole process to have a cloth handy just to wipe things dry and in case of any spills. So now that we're finished with this pot of water we can turn it right off and let it cool down. Now with this clear solution we're ready to pour it into the tub with the 40 strips in there. The lid serves as a good place to store the stirrer and also the thermometer. It's really good to pour the solution into the strips while it's still hot from being mixed up. This allows the strips to absorb it a lot better. So very carefully just pour this in over all the strips Now what you've made up here is a lot more than what you need, however it allows the strips to be fully submerged in the solution for the whole soaking period. So with that done, you can just clip the lid on there, and then very carefully put this in a spot without spilling it. We can store this for roughly 48 hours in an area which is about 20 to 25 degrees. Ideally, at this temperature, it allows the strips to soak up the solution the best and avoids any crystallization before it's fully soaked. Okay, so here we are 48 hours later. These strips have been soaking in this room at about 20 degrees, um, nice and warm, and let's have a look. 
So they've soaked up a good amount of the solution, they've roughly doubled in size. There is a lot of extra solution in there, um, but that's completely normal. We wanted that extra solution so that the strips are always submerged and are soaking up as much as they can. The next step is to remove these and put them in one of the bags that was provided in the kit. So I'd recommend rolling back the bag just to keep the seal nice and clean when you put the strips in there. So to bag up the strips, we just stand the strips up like this. And there is a bit of excess solution on there, um, but the strips will soak that up when they're in storage. So we just simply slide that in the bag and then pull the flap up. pop that there um, and seal that shortly um, but while we've got this, the gloves on um, we're going to put the extra solution that's in this tub in there. Now to make it easy you can just pop the lid off this like that and then you've just got an easy tub for pouring into the bucket. Now you can use this solution um, for future batches um, it's important to always reheat it um, as it can tend to crystallize um, and also you can soak um, less strips if you prefer so we've soaked 40 strips this time that's what they're packed in the bundles but if you prefer to soak um, 10 strips at, at a time that's fine just keep the rule that they have to be fully submerged and so you will always end up with this extra solution which you can just reuse next time now with that done, just remove these gloves and seal up the bag, mostly almost to one end. And then what you can do is just sit them down at the bottom and roll them up nice and tight like this and seal that last little bit. And that gives you a really nice tidy package of strips that you can just use as you need in your hives. Alright, with them bagged up like that, we now want to weigh them and make sure they are the correct weight. So we'll just make sure our scales are teared. And just pop them on there like that. So that's about 1270 grams total. That means each strip is just under 32 grams each. Um, that's about the most you can get when you're using this method for soaking. Um, and I'm really happy with that. Uh, these will still be very effective in the hive.